got something special right now. You remember her from the roast of Tom Brady. Now she's here on TNF Nightcap to bring you her extra points, offensive lines, takeaways, and everything you missed while watching the actual game. If I didn't love her so much, I'd be terrified. It's Late Hits with Nikki Glazer. Oh. Thank you so much, Carissa. I, I just have to say it's so nice to finally meet the photo I show my plastic surgeon. <laughs> But seriously, you are pretty intimidating. You look like the final boss at a country club. But truly, I am so thrilled to be here. Um, I want to be honest, I am pretty new to football. I, I used to think a two-minute warning was something a guy gave you one minute into sex. But every day I'm learning something new. For instance, today I found out that I look like 49ers tight end George Kittle. Oh, wow. You do I see it. it. Yeah, I see it. I can that's see it. That's exactly how I looked at Burning Man. Now, I know a lot of people are probably expecting me to get up here and just, like, roast everyone, but this isn't a roast. Like, you guys didn't sign up for this, so I'm definitely not going to say that Richard Sherman looks like Buster Rhymes on Ozempic. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to say that Andrew Ozempic? Whitworth... Oh, oh, I'm not going to say that Andrew Whitworth looks like Men's Warehouse Shrek. Or, I like that one. Or that Tony Gonzalez looks like who my mom thinks about during one of her long baths. Oh, Tony, God. I do like your vibe, though. You look like a genie you can only summon by rubbing the crotch of a sensible Talbot's pantsuit. But I'm honestly, I'm not going to say any of that, because really, I am so honored to be here tonight with all of these NFL legends and Ryan Fitzpatrick. Or, as your teammates called you, sacked Galifianakis. So, let's just move forward. <laughs> and talk about the game. It's New York versus Boston, a real battle of cities where you could get stabbed at a parade. And MetLife Stadium was packed with 82,000 of New Jersey's singlest fathers. The Jets really needed a win tonight because the Jets are a lot like Bruce Springsteen. They're based in New Jersey and they've spent the last four decades making grown men cry. And they were playing their bitter rivals, the New England Patriots. The Patriots, the only thing that Ben Affleck can commit to. Oh. <laughs> Featuring their brand new coach, Gerard Mayo. I mean, this has got to be rough for Bill Belichick. Watching his ex rebound with a hot black guy. These two teams could not be more different. The Jets haven't won a championship since 1969. The Patriots have won six Super Bowls. Or as Rob Gronkowski says, um, th this many. But, I love you, Rob. But now the Jets have a new quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. Or as I like to call him, Throw Rogan. It's ironic that he goes to silent retreats because he can't stop talking about it. But he's fun. You know, he lives in New York. He's always doing his buddy's podcast. He looks like someone who buys beer for teens. Honestly, I'm shocked I haven't dated him. And, and I don't even have a joke here, but remember when we thought this guy was a host Jeopardy? I'll just take a second for that. But he looked amazing tonight. He threw two touchdowns, including this one to Alan Lazard, who scored a touchdown despite his jersey nearly being pulled off. I never expected Alan Lazard to be a skims man. I mean, I haven't seen a stretch like that since I tried to convince DiCaprio I was 25. But it wasn't all Rodgers. Brees Hall had a rushing touchdown. Fun fact, Brees Hall is the only player in the NFL named after the dorm he was conceived in. And the Jets' defense also looked dominant, even though they were without their star linebacker, C.J. Mosley, who couldn't play tonight because he, quote, bruised the tip of his right toe. That's right, the team doctor said it was a grade one owie. But they are expecting the full recovery after the doctor kisses it to make it all better. Wait, hold on, sorry. I, I'm hearing it's been upgraded to a boo-boo. Okay, that's good news. But the action wasn't all taking place on the field tonight. Some of it took place on the sidelines. Which brings me to my play of the game. Which was this moment? Look at that. Why is Aaron doing that? Is that one of his closest family members? I mean, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, I think I know. I think Sala just reminded him that RFK Jr. dropped out of the race. And I mean, look at this face. Oh boy, I know that look. That's how men look at me when I ask, so what are we? I don't have to get boosted. I care about us. But let's face it, this was a beatdown. I haven't seen a group of Patriots take an L this bad since January 6th. I mean, thank God Belichick wasn't there to see this. 
He was too busy watching Blippi with his girlfriend. She's 24. You know, the Jets may have scored more points, but in the end, it was the Patriots who really won because they got to leave New Jersey. Thank you. Yay.